It's another beautiful day here in the Eastern High Sierra to take a mountain bike ride. Today's ride is going to be on the Mammoth Knolls Loop. So we're here at the new Shady Rest Campground, uh, the day use parking area here. And we're going to launch off down to the trailhead. It's about a quarter mile down the road. So. All right, we're riding out of the new Shady Rest Campground. They have one of these paved trails right here. Takes you about a quarter mile down the road and then we'll hook up into uh, the dirt section. So you turn off the paved trail and trailhead's right across the street here. And here's your trailhead right here for the, Ma the Mammoth Knolls Loop. All right, we're at the trailhead of the Mammoth Knolls Loop. Heads right down there. Those little signs are what we're going to be following. This is a cross-country ski route in the winter and a hiking, biking, and OHV route in the summer. So you can see right here we're at the intersection of the climb and you've got that sign right there. So now we're off to a forest service road. Climb here. Some loose dirt, a lot of rocks. If you're looking for smooth, this section ain't it, but be lots more smooth stuff once we get done with these climbing. This climb just keeps going up, up, and up. Now this climb eventually gets into a ton of sunshine here. It gets pretty hot if you're out here late morning and in the afternoon. This climb can be brutal. Surface conditions on this climb is there's some hard pack with some loose stuff on top. Where uh, the OHV vehicle's gone through, it's a little loose. It's definitely chunky climbing too. So if you go straight right here, you can get to the Mammoth Overlook. Well, the climb didn't last too long. Now we're out here in the flats of the Mammoth Knolls Forest area. It's a part of Mammoth that most people never see. Got to get off the beaten path. Absolutely gorgeous out here. And yes, these trails, midsummer, get a little sandy in spots, a little loose, such as where I am right now. If you're on a EMTB, you just power right through it. I would definitely have a wider back tire on a regular mountain bike out here. Once you come out of that flat section, there is some more climbing to be had. Dirt gets a little bit firmer on this second fairly mellow climb here. To get a little steeper and a little looser, today I am riding on an e-bike that I got from Footloose Sports. So it's just, it's simple fun instead of an insane workout. The sign just showed us we want to go right. Mammoth Knolls Loop. Our first three miles of this trail has gone up, then down, then up again, and now we're on another flat. These, this Jeffrey Pine stand is the largest continuous stand of Jeffrey Pines in the entire world. It goes all the way out to the backside of Mona Lake. They've got way better signage than they used to. This is 3S33, the continuation of the Knolls Loop. Beautiful thing of riding this trail early in the morning is you are partially in the sun and it'll get a lot of shade as well. 
nice and cool before the midday heat set in this area. We're now back into a downhill section. The uh, surface in here is definitely soft and loose. You want to be real cautious. For those of you who are used to soft, it's not a problem. Some chunky terrain too, but it's all good. Uh, here's the first panoramic view spot on this ride. Just gorgeous. Massive amount of trees and then looking out to Laurel Mountain there and Bloody Kuar. So as you ride through this Mammoth Knolls loop route, you're going to notice all sorts of offshoot roads. They've all, they're all numbered. You can get yourself a Forest Service map and you'll see that you can create just a multitude of loops and routes out in this area. This route was um, originally established back in the early 90s along with uh, the Inyo Crater Loop and uh, a couple other routes, hardcore up to up from Minaret Vista. Woo, a little sandy in here. I definitely re recommend fat tires in the e-bike during the dry summer months. For the most part, this is just a fun intermediate cruiser ride, except for some of the climbing sections are more advanced. If you're looking for extreme, it's the bike park for sure. I love just getting out in the forest away from the crowds and people. Nothing wrong with the people. Just nice to experience both the park and the middle of nowhere. This is the intersection with Sawmill Road. It's not marked very well right here. Well, it's terribly marked, but you take a right-hand turn right here. You're gonna go up 3S08F, and now you got another Mammoth Knolls Loop sign here. And well, here's one of the beautiful Vista points. I'm going to stop here and take a look. You can see Mammoth Mountain, the Sherwins. A lot of people come up here and disperse camp too. Just gorgeous forest views from up here. You can see all the way up to the Mammoth Sierra Crest out to the Sherwins. Gorgeous views with the top of Mammoth Mountain way out there. Now we just keep wrapping out on these OHV service roads. Going up and down and all around. Whoa, that's pretty soft. Almost went down on that one. Don't ride the middle. All right, so the Knolls Loop turn goes this way. Take a right. Just watch for the signs and you're not going to get lost. Of course, if you're seeing this video, you've got a heads up of which way you're going to go. And if you'll also have the map that you can look at right on your phone when you're out here. So you will always be certain you're on the right part of the route and you haven't wandered off. Now we've worked our way out about six miles into the ride and the views are really start to open up the rest of the way. Get some awesome views out to the Sherwins. What a view. Ah, another viewpoint here on the Mammoth Knolls Loop. Just beautiful. A lot of sandy 
conditions in here are really loose and soft. Getting some more epic views. Just amazing. Definitely an easy, mellow ride the second half. Not much climbing. Just cruising through these Forest Service roads on this loop. Had some amazing views and now we're back into the Jeffrey Pine Forest. Nice breeze, keeping us nice and cool today. So there's two keys to not getting lost out here or getting off on the wrong road is always stay on the road, main road you're on, unless there's a sign telling you otherwise. The second part of this ride assumes you're gonna follow that thinking because there's not a ton of signs out here, but lots of roads off shooting. Now the second half is not without its climbing. Another climb here. So if you take this little dead end, 3S124D, there's a beautiful view up here, so let's go check it out. This is one you do not want to miss. The ultimate overlook view. Ah, the view is just spectacular off this little offshoot. Come up to this viewpoint knoll and just get an incredible view of the entire area. Mammoth Mountain, Mammoth Lakes, the Sherwin Range. Beautiful stuff. As you come out from this, the overlook, you want to make sure bottom you take a right or you're going to backtrack where you've just been. There's a sign right there. Chunky downhill action on a forest service road. So when you're coming down this downhill here, this is the route you want to take, not down this steep pitch. It's not marked, so. However, if you were climbing up, it's actually marked over here behind that little tree. We're in the last quarter of the Mammoth Knolls Loop, doing this loose downhill section with just incredible views. The second half of this loop definitely is the king of views. So we're at the bottom of this big downhill and you can see Mammoth Knolls Loop. So it's gonna turn over here So we're now going on to S1234. This will take us back up to the new Shady Rest and the Visitor Center in the Shady Rest Park area. Let's see right here. Knowles Loop. This way. It's a fun loop to take. I advise doing it if you're from down south, get on an e-bike. Way more enjoyable, especially when it's loose and sandy out here. So if you do want to come out and ride this trail and you don't have an e-bike, 100 yards from where I started this ride, you'll find Footloose Sports and they've got all sorts of bikes, e-bikes for rent. 
regular mountain bikes for rent. I'm on the Turbo Levo Comp Alloy today. Sure makes this ride um, a lot of fun. Not having to plug through the sand. You definitely lose the heavy workout though. Good stuff. Come on up and check out the Mammoth Knolls Loop. We're on the 3S6A section now of the Knolls Loop. And we got a left hand turn coming up here. Coming up on the Shady Rest Park now. So as you get right to the park here, there's gonna be all sorts of different routes. You're gonna go down, the four is gone, but it's S36B. It's all the numbers that are left. All right, we've made it back to the trail now. It's kind of sketchy going up that road. You can easily miss the single track. So look for the single track and you'll be on your way back to the trailhead, which is just a quarter mile up from where we are right now. And we're back to the trailhead. Mammoth Knolls Loop, fun ride, some great views, bring your camera, enjoy.